It is time now for better money, and with the average life expectancy in the U.S. on the rise, how can you make sure that your health care costs don't derail your retirement? Joel Johnson is a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Brunetti, and he is here to share some helpful information. Thank you so much for being here, Joel. Great to be here, Kara, and this is a big deal. Everybody knows that health care is changing, it changes all the time, and it could be the biggest expense somebody has in retirement. Yeah, there's a new study about just how much it could cost you. Yeah, Fidelity did a study, $280,000 is what the average couple will spend on health care in retirement. That's even if you have insurance. That's for the co-pays, that's potential long-term care, maybe in-home care, and so on, $280,000. So this is a huge expense, and it's got to be accounted for in our retirement plan. So one way to account for it is you would consider long-term care insurance. Right, and so the statistic is two people age 65, there's a 40% chance one of them will spend time getting long-term care, whether in a nursing home or at home. There's the old traditional insurance where I can pay a premium and the insurance company pays the bill if I end up in a facility. And there's a new type of insurance where if I don't end up in a facility, I get all my money back that I paid into the policy. So people really need to look at long-term care insurance. Doesn't mean everybody should have long-term care insurance, but it needs to be looked at. It could be the thing that wipes you out financially. Okay, and you wanna understand your Medicare benefits. Right, Medicare is something where, you know, everybody enrolls in the fall time. If you're over 65, typically, you you have a supplemental policy and a prescription drug policy, but understand those benefits. Sometimes you can save a lot of money by switching companies. Understand what's paid for and what's not paid for in Medicare. Now, should most people take Medicare even if they're still working? Well, when you turn 65, you have to register for Medicare. You're supposed to apply for Medicare. But if you're still working, you don't necessarily go on Medicare completely. It coordinates with your employer-provided health insurance. All right, so yeah. And you want to take charge of your health. Right, you've got to take charge of your health. And the great news here is people are working out more, they know more about nutrition and so on than we ever did in the past. So people are healthy, but there's a flip side to that, which is we're living longer, we need our money to last a lot longer. And you want to create a strategy to fund those health care expenses. Hopefully, if you're taking care of yourself, uh, they won't be as bad as they could have been. Well, right, and this is where a great financial plan comes into place. We want to make sure we know where our money's coming from in retirement, that we won't run out, and can we create a side fund to cover for those health care expenses, kind of a, a emergency fund that's just designated for health care. If people can't afford to do that, then we just cover it in the retirement income plan. Okay, so if you'd like to learn more about this, make sure you're on track. Joel has a free offer, and it's called Don't Let Healthcare Expenses Derail Your Retirement, and you can send this off to everybody for free. Yeah, we want every viewer to get this. It's key to a good, healthy retirement financial plan. All right, so to get it, just go to bettermoneytv.com, and Joel and his team will send it off to you for free. Thanks, Kara. Thank you so much, Joel. That's Better Money.